once upon a midnight dreary. I was pondering that rather faded cliché, the devil made me do it. How that tired old phrase has been used in infinite variations to explain some cruel and irrational and benign human beings. The fear of possession by some brutal and savage demon lurks there in the shadowed cavern of our minds, along with other dreads. Fear of the dark, fear of solitude, fear of death. I imagine they all fit within that greatest of all fears, the fear of the unknown. But then I think that in these modern times there is so little left of the unknown. Is not the dark merely absence of light? Solitude, nothing more than sanctuary away from a crowded world? And death, well, it is inevitable, yet there, there be few among us who have not led it a merry chase. But what of demonic possession? Can it not be understood through the science of psychology? Ah, but my musings continue, for if such things can be so easily explained away by enlightened folks such as you and I, what is it that we still fear about them? Hmm? I apologize for my digression, but as you might suspect, it concerns tonight's excursion into the macabre. Producer-director Roger Corman's Haunted Palace was released by American International Pictures in 1964. The film is based mainly on an H.P. Lovecraft story, the case of Charles Dexter Ward, with smatterings of an Edgar Allan Poe poem entitled The Haunted Palace added in for ghoulish spice. Not only does the film deal with possession, but also with necromancy, the black art. In The Haunted Palace, necromancy is used to wreak a horrible vengeance upon a 19th century New England village. But as we shall see, there is danger that this awesome power may also consume he who wields it. I play two parts in tonight's film, one a gentleman, the other a gentleman possessed by the spirit of an evil warlock. Now, I have a peculiar empathy for this role, it's very much akin to my real life at the time that these classic horror pictures were being made. Away from the studio, I lived the life of a cultured man, immersed in the pursuit of fine art <laughs> for my private collection. But in the studio, I was repeatedly called upon to play the most hideous villains. Now, I'm not asking for sympathy, mind you, for I rather enjoyed my dual role on life stage. I merely stated as a point of interest. Much of the usual Corman team is with us again, except for Richard Matheson, who is ably replaced here by Charles Beaumont. Among tonight's cast is the somber presence of Lon Chaney, Jr. Well, my thoughts have run their course for the moment. I, I trust I haven't frightened you away. Oh, but you see, I am... Uh, well, I'm a rather rude host. Please forgive me, and welcome to the Haunted Palace.